Hey everybody, Elisa here with another Vera Bradley bag of the day. Um, I did want to try to squeeze in a video today because it's National Handbag Day and I, oh, oh dookie. Oh. Usually I let them up on the bed, it doesn't matter, but he's having some trouble right now and it's kind of hard for him to get down. I'm trying to find some steps for him, but I haven't found any yet to support his weight. He's, he's a big boy. Um, anyway, it is National Handbag Day, and so I, you know, I felt like, well, how can I pass up, we got to do a video on uh, National Handbag Day, and it's also Thursday, so I thought I would do a Throwback Thursday uh, theme video because I haven't done that in a while, and it's the perfect excuse to bring out uh, a bag that's not so much of a big tote, but more of a handbag. That's a shoulder bag, really, I think. It's not really a handbag like the 100 is, but um, it's vintage. And uh, so I thought, you know, it's, it, it lends itself, I think, well enough to the theme. <laughs> um, and and I, I got this a while back. I just had never really talked about it before, uh, just because I've been so busy. But this is a patty. I I feel like I did. I think I have uh, I have a Chanticleer. I'm pretty sure that's a patty. I'll check, and if it is, I'll put the link to that video here. Um, I, I do. I'm pretty sure that's a patty. And anyway, this is a patty, um, and the pattern uh, is indigo, which was spring um, 1997. I don't. Again, I don't remember how I came upon this pattern, um, you know, it was when I, I must, I don't know what I was searching for, um, you know, late at night when I can't sleep, <laughs> although lately I've been sleeping better and I haven't needed to troll uh, eBay <laughs> so much anymore. I think I've gotten that out of my system, uh, luckily. Um, but anyway, this did pop up, and I do love the blue about it, but what, uh, what really appealed to me, what really intrigued me, was the trim. Um, I just like this for such a vintage uh, pattern, and this I feel this way about a number of the vintage patterns that they are almost more daring than the patterns that are, are being produced now, which seem more, uh, which seem tamer and more conservative. Like there's a little bit of timidity there. Um, Look at this trim. Look at this sort of crazy mashup of the paisleys, just sort of all pushed together, like amoebas almost. Um, it, I, I, when I saw that, I mean, I, I had to zoom in on the picture because I wasn't even sure, you know, it was late at night, my eyes are tired, and I wasn't even really sure if I was seeing it right. Uh, those were paisleys, and they were all just kind of sm sm smushed together. <laughs> Uh, maybe that's a little bit better light there. The color is coming in accurately. It is a nice um, deep indigo kind of blue, but a little, uh, it's like it's a little muted with a little gray. Uh, so it's not quite so vivid as the uh, um, Indio pattern that uh, I was showing in the video yesterday. And then the body of the bag, the print on the body, body of the bag is very structured, you know, so, um, you know, with the pat the pattern elements align in a very linear fashion, and so uh, that lends itself to a lot of askew placement, a lot of stuff is sort of listing off and not level, um, and so I, when I saw this one, I was very pleased. I looked very carefully at the way the pattern was aligning with the straps and the bottom of the trim to make sure it wasn't looking too slanted. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it you don't want it to be glaring if there's that kind of imperfection. I do like this little, this sort of, you know, four petal flower kind of stylized flower shape. And then the very delicate, so it looks like uh, little leaf, leaves um, in the background. Again, it's a nice color palette, right, with these, the the range of blues and grays in there. Again, there's an, another look at the trim. And so the patty, um, it's uh, 
just a little on the small side for what I would normally go for, but I do like it. And it is similar to the Mandy, so I pull out a Mandy because I really don't like the Mandy. <laughs> and, um, uh, but I just think they're so close in size that it's strange that I don't like the Mandy and I do like this. So I thought I would just compare them just real quick a little bit, um, show how similar they are. But, um, you know, it's a high uh, resting bag like I like. The strap drop here is 11 inches. I mean, I'll measure that again to double check, but I'm pretty sure it's 11 inches. And that's a strap drop I tend to like. Uh, up there under your arm with your please don't take my spot peaches <laughs> where my arm can sort of rest on top of the bag makes it feel secure like I've been saying and it's not too east-west it is east you know kind of has an east-west there she goes <laughs> nobody listens to me in this house um, you know it has an east-west look to it but it, it's a little bit longer than the Mandy and I it's just a, just a hair and that difference in proportion makes all the difference for me um, I also think it's probably a little bit fuller this way but I have to check that measurement uh, I think that this color looks really good with a red this red's a little vivid um, maybe a little bit more mellow red would work but I love this kind of blue with red I love that combo I was saying that yesterday about the latest Mickey pattern. That that's part of why that the background in that pattern is appealing to me because of the combo of the red and the blue. Um, so here, let me see if I can get them together on the bed. So they're very similar, but I think you can see the patty is just a, sh a hair taller. It's like a, an inch or a half an inch taller, you know, and it's about an inch wider this way. Um, I think this was 16 and this was 15 across the top, roughly. And so that, that change, that shift in dimension, it just makes the proportions look a little bit different for me. This has more of a an east-west squat look, and that bugs me. Um, I just feel like when it's on my shoulder, I feel like it's sticking out too much this way from my the width of my body. Um, it's a very subtle difference. This strap drop is also about a half an inch to an inch shorter. Uh, 10, 10 and a half inch strap drop with this versus 11 here. They do look about the same width wise though now that I see them together. But again you can see there's this is a there's more length this way and for me that really helps with the overall look of the bag can't even see where they're, it's hitting on my body in a different spot. I'm 5'4", I, I often put that you know, in my stats there for people to compare. I'm 5'4", and about 130. This pattern for people who um, weren't sure was Havana Rose. So I do love the pattern, which is why I got the bag. Um, and I, I'll keep the bag, even though I rarely use it. One of my pet peeves about this bag is that the straps don't stay on my shoulder. I don't have that as much trouble with these. These are just a, a bit thinner, uh, width-wise. It's just a little bit thicker. I think that has something to do with it. I have trouble keeping these straps on my shoulder, especially in the winter when I'm wearing a coat. Some, you know, there's more fabric here. Um, but... I will keep this bag because of the, the, the pattern placement is so beautiful. That big yellow rose and two full butterflies there in the front. I mean, you can't beat that. Another butterfly in the back. So there's, oh, another one there. Oh, another one there. <laughs> in the bottom. No, but look at that yellow rose there. I mean, that's just gorgeous. So 
So, you know, I'll keep this bag, and I, I will use it on occasion, but it, it's not one that I go to often. I sometimes forget that I have it because of the way I have, have to store all my stuff right now. Everything's sort of nested in other things, and it's not easy to get to everything. So, um, the patty, they're, they're similarly configured, I feel like. Um, oop. The patty has this slip pocket in the front, somewhat shallow. Um, because it, it starts pretty low on the front and since this is you know 1997 it's a, a big plastic zipper there and if you can sort of see the teeth are, are real big it's soft and the pole is actually not even a ribbon as part of the fabric so it's really back in the day inside fits what I need it to fit um, six slip pockets also made from quilted fabric, which is nice. But if it's, you know, everything's in there nicely. So I have my um, Carson cell phone crossbody, which if you watch my recent videos with this, I, I take the strap off and just sort of using it as a, you know, some added protection for my cell phone in the bag. And uh, my usual stuff, you know, wallet, all together crossbody that I use as a wallet, remove the strap and use, use it as a wallet, uh, GPS pouch, iPad mini, and my charger cord pouch, which I switched out today, <laughs> uh, or yesterday I did, I think, no, today, maybe I switched it out today, um, to a, another one that I had, because I realized I hadn't used this in a while, and I do love this light nut fabric. I didn't, this is stitched garden. Uh, the lighten up version of the stitched flowers pattern. Um, I really thought I was going to love the stitched flowers pattern when I saw it online, but when I saw it in person, I, I could, just couldn't get into it. Um, there was the black elements in that were just too strong for me. I, I didn't I didn't care for it, but I think this the stitched garden lighten up equivalent is beautiful. I just love it. Blowing out a little bit here because it's a light pattern and a, the light is a little bright. That's that's not bad. I wasn't so crazy. I ordered this um, from an online outlet sale. So good price, but again, you take a chance with the pattern placement. I do like these little berry things here, but I do think the, the front pattern placement's a little subdued, just a lot of leaves. But the back is good with the big, you know, floral bursts. I do like the overall sort of Asian feel of it and this little stitched. Just, just leave him be, okay? Because, you know, he's not feeling well. Okay. Uh, the sort of background with the stitched motif. I do like that. And then it changes color, you know. I do like that. So anyway. And it's got an interesting uh, lining color. Sort of this vivid coral kind of color. Peaches, don't mess with him. Don't mess with him. Okay. Inside, you can see the six slip pockets. And the center one on each side. There we go. Is wider than the two um, on the on the surrounding it. The two surrounding it. But it is nice that it is that. Do you just toot? I just heard something. Yeah, you smell something funny, right? And it's your butt. Animals. <laughs> it does come with a removable cardboard base that's in its own in its sleeve. Um, so that's nice. And the. Lining is the a combination of the exterior prints. I mean, like this is the background. The the wall is the background here, and then the just the full-on exterior pattern for the quilted slip pockets. Where well, this was made? Oh, made in the USA. <laughs> that always feels kind of good when you get that right. Okay, so that was that. Um, again, 16 across. What was it top to bottom? I feel like it might be 13 top to bottom, but let me see. No, 10. 10 top to bottom. 10 top to bottom. Yeah, 16 across. The base area 10 ish 
by 5. Okay, so that was that. The board like this does tend to slip around when there's nothing in there. Try to sort of work it in under the seams and that kind of keeps it keeps it down in place. Sorry, Dookie. Now the Mandy, that's so that strap drop I know is eleven. This one's more like ten and a half. On the front, now this this I do like about the Mandy is this sort of hidden slip pocket on the front, and it's nice because it goes all the way down. This is my, the bottom of my finger here, so that's a nice size slip pocket, and I do use it for my car keys when I get out of the car and I'm going into a store or something. So I like that. It does have a plastic zipper on top? Of course, it's, uh, the teeth are finer now on the on the more modern, you know, um, plastic zippers, and the ribbon pull tie. So I just right now to give it body. I just had a sweatshirt in there. I'm going to put that in there. And it's got the cotton cotton lining still. And again, six slip pockets. Also still from the quilted fabric. Um, only they're in the Havana Dots. Uh, everything is from the Havana Dots fabric inside. This does have a cardboard base and it is removable. The whole thing, the there's a sleeve that's attached at the bottom of the bag. So, you know, the, the whole thing doesn't come out. You have to find the sleeve there and pull the piece of cardboard out from under it. I do think, I do have um, a factory Mandy, um, and I, I'm not sure if the bottom is removable on that. Uh, and it's been a while since I used it. I actually find that the straps on that one stay on my shoulder better, oddly. <laughs> they must be a little bit, I don't think they're quite as wide. That might have something to do with it. They're not as, quite as thick. Uh, these are very thick. They, um, it almost makes the bag feel top heavy. Like the straps are almost too big for the size of the rest of the bag. But, like I said, the top on this one is about 15. Yeah, 15 versus 16 on here. And nine top to bottom, nine top to bottom. So that's making it. This this is a shorter thing, and it's making it, the whole thing look narrow and squat this way, which is what bugs me. Um, but it does still fit all my stuff. You know, I've had all the pouches. But I've had many. Slip the cell phone in. The wallet. You know, you can still get a couple, a few other things in there, tissues, you know, lip balm, you know, pen and pen pad, whatever, other stuff. So again, oh, let me measure the base real quick. 12. So that's interesting because that's probably contributing to the, the different, like, aspect ratio, like with the TV, like the different proportions that, that are making the bag just look different enough to me. Um, so that I can have a preference, a strong preference. And this is about four and three quarters. So 12 by four and three quarters on the base here. Uh, this was 10 by five, I think. Right, was that five? God, I, I really cannot retain anything. <laughs> yeah, five. <laughs> so imagine what I'm going to be like in 10 years. <laughs> So again, just to compare now with the with the Mandy loaded up with for real with real stuff. <laughs> yeah, this does this does look just a bit wider here, even though it's close. And it's like I said, it's just that little difference that's just huge for me. It makes a huge difference for me. But I will admit, I will admit, this is a nice looking bag. It's a striking pattern, reads well from a distance. Um, fun and romantic pattern and luscious colors. Anyway, 
just a quick one today for um, I'm more of a, a hand a handbaggy bag <laughs> rather than a big tote bag. Again, this was Indigo from uh, spring 1997 in the uh, patty style, which I, I just just again such a such a neat pattern, and I think somewhat modern, even though it's so vintage. It's just something graphic enough about it, the circles with the flowers inside. It's just graphic enough to still, you know, you can still carry it off today without looking too dated, I think. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I uh, hope people found that comparison, sort of mini comparison, quick comparison helpful, especially if people are like the Mandy. Um, and hopefully we'll see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day.